Okay, this one goes out there to everybody who seems to be unhappy with the way that their life is going right now. I got news for y'all. I need to let y'all in on a little secret because it's public knowledge. All of y'all need to know this. Not everybody's life plan is the same. When I say that, y'all have to take into account that I am just a normal person. Okay, this is my opinion and that's, that, that's all that this will ever be. But I would like to share a little bit of my own wisdom with y'all. My dad always told me from the time I was born that you have three opportunities in life in order to be successful. And this goes for relationships or in business or whatever. But you have three chances in life to be successful. The first one normally happens when you're too young. It, it, you're, you're not ready for that type of, of, of success yet. You squander it. You might have fallen into something that was really great. And you just, your immaturity and so, and so much and so forth just kind of riddled that one out. So flash forward five or six years, you get another chance to be successful. Normally that one happens at bad times. I'm talking about you ain't got the money to get invested in what you want to or you're moving away from the person that you feel like you need to be with the rest of your life and you're too young to live on your own. There's a million different things. It's just normally bad timing. That third time is normally the one that most people capitalize on. You just have to put in the work in order to get there. And this goes for relationships as well because I, 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 know, I know how that can be. Most people think they have the love of their life while they're in grade school. That's not a real thing. It's just a pure love because you've never been hurt before and you have no problem at all opening up your heart 100% to somebody in order to get hurt because you ain't never been hurt before. So you don't know the repercussions of your actions. Flash forward into your college years or maybe a couple years after your college years, you feel like, hey, this person right here needs to be what I, this is the person I need to be with. But they might have a different life plan than you. And another big issue that people seem to be looking around at their, at their friends, people compare themselves to their friends and their life paths and thinking that they're behind. Just because your friends have kids, a house, and this, that, and the other, it doesn't mean that you're failing at life. It doesn't mean that you're behind the eight ball in any way or that you need to hurry up and have a kid when you're not ready or whatever. It just means that there's different time frames on different people's lives. They're all the, they're all going to end up at the same place. We're all going six feet in the ground or in an ashtray. That's just, that's just how it is. You need to live your own life and quit judging yourself by everybody else's success. I got friends right now, every one of them's got, they're married, they got kids, they this, that, and the other. They, you know, they get to do, do the toy shopping and all this stuff. And I catch myself from time to time looking around like, hey, I need to get on the ball. Like, I, I'm, way behind, I'm way behind everybody else right now. But then I get to thinking about what my dad told me. He said, son, things happen when, they, when, when, when they're meant to happen. Good Lord upstairs has got a plan for you. And, and I believe that you're doing your best with your plan. Things are going to happen for you. You just got to stay your course. So don't judge yourself on everybody else's success. Don't judge yourself on everybody else's progress through life because the day is going to come that some people is going to be looking at you and being like, wow, I'm way behind them. I got to do some catching up. It's just a little bit of advice. I've been thinking about that hard this morning. I hope it made sense to y'all. I know, I know it, uh, it registers up here in this brain. What does this old country boy know? You know what I'm saying?